Have you ever wondered what would happen if animals had superpowers? Well, you don't have to imagine. Many of the animals you already know have abilities and survival strategies so incredible that they could easily form a group of superheroes and save the world from the bad guys. These animal superpowers come in the form of adaptations to the environment, either to avoid predators, get more food, or simply to go unnoticed and live a quiet life. Are you ready to see animals with new eyes? Prepare your cape and mask because you are about to meet animals with incredible survival adaptations. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. Forest frogs. To survive the winter, forest frogs in Alaska freeze up to 60% of their bodies. They also stop breathing and their hearts stop beating, allowing them to survive temperatures as low as minus 61 degrees Celsius. In the spring, they thaw and, quote-unquote, come back to life. To achieve the semi-frozen state, frogs accumulate high concentrations of glucose, up to 10 times the normal amount, in their organs and tissues. This is called cryoprotectants. These sugars act as protectors against the cold, preventing their cells from shrinking or dying. Can you imagine having the ability to freeze part of your body whenever you want? It would be ideal to spend hot afternoons during the summer. Giant tube worms. For a long time, scientists thought it was impossible for life to exist in the hot water vents of the deep ocean. But in 1977, they succeeded in finding giant tube worms that live among the Galapagos Rift, about two blocks below the ocean surface. The tube worms are surrounded by total darkness in their habitat and live in waters full of toxic gases and acids. These worms have pockets of bacteria with heart-shaped structures and reproductive organs. The bacteria inside the worms use the toxic hydrogen sulfide in the water, something that will normally eliminate most of other animals, as a source of energy to produce carbohydrates. Dolphins Dolphins are among the most intelligent and playful animals in existence. However, scientists are amazed at the limits of these animals' creativity. When studying the young dolphins, it was observed that they like to blow and play with rings of water, the equivalent of smoke rings. Most interestingly, additional studies have shown that dolphins also use these rings to hunt prey. They do this by swimming under a school of fish that they want to eat and then blowing ring after ring until the fish are either trapped in the bubble vortex or are driven away from the school and left alone to be easily picked up. Incredible the capacity that these dolphins have to play and feed at the same time! Sloths It may seem impossible for an animal as slow as the sloths to get enough food to survive. However, it turns out that these mammals are natural farmers, as their fur is home to a species of moth that lives nowhere else in the world except inside the sloth's fur. These moths spend their entire lives with the sloths, so when they pass away, they release nitrogen, which in turn facilitates the growth of an algae in the fur of these slow-moving mammals. This algae offers a static food source that requires zero energy to harvest, which is perfect for an animal that is slower than most tectonic plates. Would you like to have the possibility to grow food on your skin? The Giant Roadrunner In case you didn't know, drinking urine is a very good option for human survival in the desert. But the Giant Roadrunner takes waste-based survival to the next level. One of the main ways in which the Roadrunner's body conserves water is by extracting it from its feces through a physiological process that takes place when it sits on it. Another mechanism that the Roadrunner uses to save water is to filter out excess salt through glands located above the bird's eyes. The funny thing about this is that these desalinization glands are typically found in seabirds, not in land birds. Without a doubt, the Roadrunner has a very peculiar way of saving water. Would you dare to follow in its footsteps? Horned Desert Lizards 
The best way for an animal to obtain water in a desert will be through an oasis, the consumption of plants with high liquid content, or through the prey they can hunt. However, recent studies have shown that other exceptionally ingenious and biologically advanced methods of collecting water for internal rehydration has emerged among certain lizards. The horned desert lizard uses miniature channels to absorb and then direct water from the point of contact to the lizard's mouth. When it reaches the corners of the lizard's mouth, the water is absorbed and consumed. Through this adaptation, the lizards are able to collect and then concentrate the liquid collected from the rain, wet sand, and water pools they encounter. A very good skill, especially when they cannot find water for miles. The London Underground Mosquitoes During the construction of the London Underground in England, mosquitoes traveled underground and began to suddenly transform into a new species. Their ancestors fed only on birds, but this new version began to feed on rodents and humans. Their reproductive habits have also changed to better accommodate to their habitat. For while mosquitoes normally need to feed on blood before laying eggs, the London underground mosquito lays its eggs first, as food is difficult to find in the tunnels. Finally, and worst of all for humans, this species of mosquitoes is active year-round. Unlike most mosquitoes that hibernate during the winter, I pity Londoners, these insects are too much of a nuisance. long Less Salamander Located in the tropical forests of Ecuador, this salamander has a really incredible adaptation. It has no lungs. Instead, it breathes through its skin, absorbing oxygen from the air through it. A group of researchers describe it as remarkably ugly, which is a fitting description for the small amphibian. So far, we still don't know much about the longless salamander, but more expeditions are being planned to explore the unique biosphere of the Equatorian jungle and how it allows these types of animals to exist. To tell you the truth, it is a bit ugly, but what matters is what's inside. Northern Fulmar If you ever run into the Northern Fulmar, you better watch out and stay away if you can as this seabird, common in the Atlantic and North Pacific, is known to vomit up a stomach oil made of wax esters and triglycerides when it feels threatened or under attack. Vomiting is especially effective against other birds because the substance sticks to the attacker's feathers, preventing flight and therefore causing death. These lethal vomit also functions as a nutritious food for their young and for feeding during long-distance travel. Imagine being on vacation and having a full mar vomit on you without notice. It will be a very interesting memory to share with your acquaintances. King Snake As if snakes weren't amazing enough, there is one with the ability to eat anything it can sink its teeth into, even other snakes. The king snake's body managed to evolve so that it could eat any kind of prey regardless of whether it was poisonous or toxic. One of their defense mechanisms against predators is based on a strong bite and the expulsion of feces when they're cut. You don't want to make an enemy of the king snake. As you can see, it's quite tough and fierce. Mexican tetrafish Many people assume that evolution is a linear path of progression, but some animals experience a regressive evolution when they lose certain traits or characteristics over time. The Mexican tetra is a fish that lives in the underground rivers of Mexico, and because it lives in complete darkness, it has lost its sense of vision and even its eyes. Compared to other tetra species, it also lost pigmentation, sporting a pinkish-white color. However, the Mexican tetra fish has some new adaptive features such as taste buds all over its head and the ability to store four times more energy as fat. Tiktaalik The transition of our ancestors out of the water and onto the land was a crucial moment in evolution. They no longer floated on water, so animals with four limbs had to overcome gravity to move their bodies. 
One of the most important animals in this process is the Ticta alic, a fossil that dates back some 375 million years. The Ticta alic is special because although it has many characteristics similar to those of fish, it also possesses bones similar to those we have in our wrists, suggesting that it could hold its body in its front extremities. Could this be the fish that took the most important step towards the evolution of species? At first glance, all animals are amazing creatures, but no doubt there are some with incredible abilities, which seem to be taken from a comic book or a science fiction movie. Would you like to have some of the characteristics of these animals? Which one and why? Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next one! Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos.